Good afternoon, brothers. It's 10-18-2018, uh, uh, and I wanted to come on here today with a message uh, that I got from the Holy Spirit early this morning, in the early morning, like between 3 in the a.m. in the morning and about 6 a.m. in the morning. And uh, three of the videos were, uh, information was from uh, Minister Paul videos, and then there are some other videos that I believe right now are related, so normally I don't mention names, channel names and stuff, but uh, for this video here today, I'm, I am going to name some uh, channel names and uh, some videos because I think all of the stuff is related. And it goes back to the biggest event that I think is occurring uh, right now. Of all of the things that uh, Minister Paul spoke of uh, in the last two years, but the, the number one thing that he spoke about that's of importance is uh, the M87 event horizon. And it all goes back to that. And I think that the, some of the information that he gave uh, there is, uh, is stuff that, you know, it still hasn't happened because uh, when he mentioned it, uh, he thought that they would show an animation of uh, this black hole in, uh, in March or April or May of this year, which never ended up happening. Uh, but that, that was their intention. They were putting together the stuff from all these different telescopes, if you'll recall. And then they were going to put all that data together, and then they were going to release a, a video that was... Uh, simulation of a black hole but it never ended up happening it hasn't happened up until now and yet and nothing has ever been said about it like why why nothing why nothing happened why they never released the thing well we just don't know um but uh the thing is uh it uh it's a world-changing event here, he did three videos that I want to give you the dates for, which is uh, uh, 1518 and uh, uh, 1618. And then the third one was on the 20th of January. So all three of these videos were done in the month of January that Minister Paul did. He did all of them in the month of January. And then I think those videos are related to some things that are happening right now. Um, and he was talking about in the one video he was mentioning uh, the one thing we got to understand about this whole thing is that this involves several events and it probably involves several events over a period of uh, you know who knows weeks months but for all of this different step to unfold this is going to be over a period of weeks and months it's not going to happen all at one time in one day and so uh, as we see some of this stuff happening that he mentioned, there's supposed to be some uh, uh, event with uh, red dust. He was talking about there would be an event with uh, the country of Morocco. We would see something between Spain and Morocco taking place in the news. Uh, we would, uh, something would end up... Uh, happening over in Israel as a result of, I don't know if it would be, they would be at, uh, attacked some way. You know, that there would be a possible terrorist attack or something. They could, you know, uh, start, that could be the th event or whatever that would set off World War III. And then there was uh, the IREM telescope, which was in uh, Spain in the um, to the one side of the Sierra Nevadas there in the country of Spain. It's a big radio telescope, and that telescope was one of the telescopes that were going to be involved in the event horizon, but it's also going to be a telescope that's going to be involved in this thing that's coming. And uh, so uh, he, the, the, the information that I was given today uh, that this event, event horizon when it finally occurs, which is going to be this 
uh, he said like some red, uh, he, he saw like back in 2015, he, he was shown what was going to happen in advance and uh, what he saw was like this red blob looking thing in the sky which was uh, linked to, to a black hole. And he said that that's what people would be seeing in the sky. And we, we've covered it in other videos where, he, where we went over that and talked about that because it was supposed to be the title of the one uh, video was that this was supposed to be like uh, uh, a shocking event that would take place. And of course, quite some time ago, uh, I was told, and you know, and I, of course, I didn't know nothing about the Minister Paul videos, but I was told, you know, that uh, shocking judgments were coming, and uh, and and he said in his video that, uh, you know, it was going to be an event that shakes the nations, and we were speaking about uh, the shocking judgments, and I also spoke about a great shaking. And there were other people on a lot of other channels that were referring to that same thing. There's, uh, that the Lord had told them that there's a great shaking coming. And Minister Paul mentions this uh, event that shakes the nation. So it's, it's the M87 event horizon that he was referring to. And, um, uh, more recently, uh, we, we're hearing about the uh, Traconian uh, meteor showers, and we're, we're hearing about how that that could be the Revelation 12 sign of the dragon that, that tries to devour the child. And um, you, you'll see that on uh, uh, some videos that I was looking at recently, of uh, one by Barry Scarborough that he just did about Revelation 12, 4 being fulfilled next week. Then there was one by uh, uh, Secure Team 10, and it's about the total shutdown of space, uh, which, uh, remember, we uh, he does mention in there the observa solar observatory in, uh, in uh, Arizona that got shut down for a few days, and there were five other solar observatories around the world that's webcams were shut down. The whole observatory wasn't shut down, but the webcams to the websites were shut down so that you couldn't go on there and uh, watch any solar activity for about, um, for several days until, until they reopened the one. When they reopened the one, they, they uh, turned on all the webcams to the other solar observatories once they opened that one in Arizona. But they uh, five other solar observatory webcams were shut down until that, that one uh, uh, observatory was opened back up. So then a lot of people think, well, okay, there was something going on out there in space that uh, they didn't want the public to see. Most people still think that. And uh, so, I think that incident of what happened at the Solar Observatory and the great event that's coming with the M87 event horizon that Minister Paul's speaking of, I think those things are linked. And, and whatever was going on that they didn't want us to see is part of that M87 event horizon. There's something going on out there in space, uh, which Minister Paul said really was... Um, he said it was, uh, he was told in the January 20th, 2018 video that uh, the Lord told him that uh, that what that actually was, that M87 event horizon, was that the, the gate of heaven was being opened up. And that gate of heaven being opened up is probably linked to the rapture of the church. And he also said that... Uh, that the event uh, horizon would be linked to the uh, uh, arising of uh, and, and uh, of the Antichrist. It would be linked to that too. Like be, uh, after that happened, then it would bring about uh, whatever came as a result of that. It would bring about um, you know his coming out and. Uh, 
he would uh, they would try to do something. The event would cause something to happen that would usher in. He said uh, his uh, coming to power and I think receiving the mark also. All of that stuff would be tied to this M87 event horizon. And in one of the videos too, he mentioned where that uh, the, during the time that the event actually took place would be a time of, of a major war. So there would be a major war going on. So we're talking about all kinds of things that right now at this point, we're not in right now, but sometime between, you know, me making this video today and the first of the year, or just after the first of the year between now and uh, the first, you know, January, February of 2019, somewhere in this time window, I think uh, this event, 87 event horizon that he spoke of, I, I believe that that's going to happen uh, along with all these other events that he spoke of, the uh, uh, events between the countries of Spain and Morocco, uh, the uh, uh, Iram uh, Solar, the uh, one observatory, which was used to uh, put together that M87 event horizon animated uh, thing that they were supposed to be put together. But that thing is also going to be in the news in the near future, connected with some stuff that's going on over there between Morocco and uh, Spain. Uh, and that is going to lead to you know, a red dust incident, which again, it's a red blob in the sky. It's, there's red dust, a red warning, red flag warnings. So that color red seems to be the, the prominent thing in all of this stuff. And then that's going to lead to some kind of event, uh, uh, attack event or something on the country of Israel, which then could set off that war that Minister Paul was referring to could be the result of some attack that, you know, country or a group of uh, people that attack the country of Israel. All of it's tied together. And then you've got the Barry Scarborough video of Revelation 12 fulfilled next week. you got the Secure Team video. And then the one uh, video that Minister Paul mentions that I haven't mentioned yet is he said that there was a video that was done by Rhonda Empson where her husband, it was revealed to her husband that there was going to be like a ribbon in the sky that was going to be saw and that he believes, Minister Paul believed that the ribbon in the sky that Rhonda Empson's husband was told about uh, is connected to the M87 event horizon, that he, he strongly believed that. Now, on the secure team video of the total shutdown of space, it's interesting. The reason why I say that it's related to it, because we had the thing in Arizona where that was shut down for days. Now, what he said on the secure team 10 uh, video, which I put all of these videos, I didn't put the Rhonda Imps and the, you know, I, I, I would have to look for that and find it. I don't know where that's at. I imagine it was done quite some time ago and it'd be difficult to find it. But I did put the three Minister Paul videos that I'm speaking of in my video today, along with Barry Scarborough's uh, video and Secure Team 10's video about the total shutdown of space. I put all those on my video favorites, so you could go to my video favorites uh, page on the on my channel here, and you could click onto those videos and watch them, and then um, you know hear the thing explained right from out of the mouth of Minister Paul himself, which is uh, much more detailed. But the Holy Spirit gave me this stuff to to put it together to try to reveal that, hey, this stuff is coming up. It's not going away. Like Minister Paul said in his video, it is going to happen. The day is going to happen, come when it's going to happen. And it hasn't happened yet. They haven't even, re they never even released the animated uh, video about the black hole. And they never said anything else about it up to now. And it was supposed to be released this spring. So that's another mystery about why they never mentioned anything. We, we don't know. 
And then he, Minister Paul, in the one uh, video from 1-6-18, uh, it was about the Elijah outpouring anointing that he was talking about. And during that time, he was warned against man-made diseases and natural man-made disasters. You know, there's people now that they talk about, you know, like Hurricane Michael, they talk about that being man-made because they can manipulate the weather through harp and stuff. Is this what Minister Paul was talking about? Now we've saw Hurricane Michael. Is that one of the signs and one of these events that's going to take place before the M87 event horizon was Hurricane Michael, which might have been man-made and created because there was like a side of it some people showed on their channels. It wasn't a complete circle, you know, with an eye. It wasn't a complete circle with an eye there for the longest time. Uh, one side of the hurricane was like open up. And people were saying, well, you know, what's, what's with that? How come it has an open side to it? You know, it's not a completely circle like it should be, like it would be normal. And is it, does it look that way because it's man-made? And so there were several people that did videos on that. And he said there would be an uprising that would usher in a great deception to accept a world leader and his mark. So there's some kind of uprising that ushers in a great deception. Remember, there's that thing about the, I will send you a strong delusion that you will believe a lie. And the people that believe that lie, the ones that believe that lie, uh, are they the ones that's going to be fooled and accept the mark and accept the Antichrist when he comes on the scene? Which is, you know, when he comes on the scene, he's going to be talking about, you know, He's going to be trying to make a peace uh, covenant with many. We, we know about that. It's in the book of Daniel. And bring about this you know, world peace. He'll have the answers and the solutions on how to bring it about. And um, so uh, we, we're just going to have to wait and see here. Uh, along with uh, that... Uh, uh, you know, attack on Israel, something between Morocco and Spain, there is. There's, uh, you know, the M87 event horizon itself. And this thing, like I said right now, the, the Revelation 12-4 sign may be fulfilled next week, according to Barry Scarborough, which would be also be connected to this M87 event horizon. And uh, then the things that uh, Secure Team was talking about. He's talking about uh, the fact that uh, the uh, Chandra X-ray telescope and the Hubble telescope have gone, this week have gone into safe mode, uh, where they turn away a little bit away from the, uh, the direction of the sun, and, they're, and they just go into, they're like shut down. Well, both of those telescopes have gotten shut down. And then the Mars rover, because they had a few weeks back, they had some kind of dust storm on Mars. Uh, the Mars rover has gone silent. They're not getting any data from the Mars rover right now. They got those two uh, telescopes in safe mode that's been shut down. And we had that observatory shut down in Arizona all here recently and also he was mentioning something about uh, the Soyuz uh, uh, rocket into space mission that recently they tried to send a rocket up into space or something and the astronauts had to abort out of the rocket something went wrong or something and and the whole thing with that is all a mystery again uh, another thing connected to space uh, they might have been going up to the International Space Station or something, is what that was about. It was a mission to the International Space Station that had to be aborted, and they had to get out of there and evacuate the ship. Um, and he thinks all of that stuff is connected. So uh, this thing is also because it's... Uh, connected with, like Minister Paul said, the M87 event horizon with the, the signs of the return of Jesus. So when all these events that lead up to the 
to the to the war to the war to M87 event horizon to this uh, uh, event that ushers in a great deception to accept a world leader in his mark. He also said that at that time that these some of these events are occurring, there's also going to be a, a big earthquake in the state of California. So this will be another thing in the coming months to watch for. An earthquake that takes place in his state is connected to all these other events. So you got about, you know, a dozen different things here that are all connected, that are all leading up to this uh, this thing, which the Lord told him that the M87 event horizon was actually um, the gate of heaven being opened. And I think the gate of heaven is open, going to be open, is a sign of Jesus' re return for his bride which Minister Paul says the rapture is connected to the M87 event horizon. And of course, this uh, Revelation 12, 4 sign that Barry Scarborough is talking about is again, uh, you know, connected, possibly connected to the rapture. And then again, uh, we're seeing a lot of videos in general on here uh, right now where again, people are, are being given dreams and visions and information about the rapture, and, they, and they're continually being told that the Lord is, a, is about to return, that it's very, very close. And that uh, is in agreement with what Minister Paul said, because the event horizon, the, the war that's going on, and all these other events that I've just mentioned in today's video, they're all connected also to the rapture, which everybody thinks is just around the corner. So uh, that was what I got last night from the Holy Spirit from these videos. It's uh, just to make the point that uh, there's, uh, there's something about a ship there, too, that goes from uh, that was one thing I didn't mention that goes from the Straits of Gibraltar. A ship passes through the Straits of Gibraltar and goes from the Straits of Gibraltar over to Israel. And, and that's when some kind of event takes place that could trigger a war. And all of that is kind of sketchy in Minister Paul's video. He doesn't elaborate on too much on the thing that happens in Israel. But it's connected to all these other things that I mentioned in today's video. And uh, he just wants me to uh, make the point in today's video that, you know, not to forget about this stuff because uh, that was the most important thing as, as far as I keep getting in my spirit. That's the most important thing in the last couple of years that Minister Paul ever did videos on was this M87 event horizon, and it, it hasn't happened yet. But he said it was going to happen in 2018. So we know how much, where, where we're at right now, we're in the month of October. We got a couple more months of this year left, and I was told her we, we had shocking judgments coming, and is the uh, M87 event horizon and the beginning of a war, you know, an attack on Israel that sets off a war, a big earthquake in California that happens, and Rhonda Empson's husband about uh, his the revelation about the ribbon in the sky that it's going to be visible, that people are going to be seeing. Um, all of course, all of that stuff uh, could could be classified as you know shocking events. Every every bit of these things that I'm speaking of would be shocking events. Uh, then the scripture that, the one scripture that uh, Minister Paul used in the one video was Hosea 4 and, uh, and verse 6. Chapter 4, Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me, saying thou hast forgotten the law of God, I will also forget thy children. So, uh, you know, people, his people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, and he said uh, when he looked back in this and studied it, 
that when he said my people are destroyed for a, a lack of knowledge, some people think that that refers to the church and Christians and stuff. He says that that was, you know, is God's people Israel. Is referring at that time was referring to God's people of Israel in Israel, and it could be also a reference to the church. Um, and then the other scripture that uh, the Lord gave me in addition to that was uh, this thing that's again going around right now, and the thing that Barry Scarborough is talking about, and uh, other people have made videos about it too, not besides him. That this uh, drac uh, draconian meteor shower is uh, is a sign that's in Revelation 12. Also, Hurricane Michael. So when you read Re uh, Daniel uh, Revelation 12, and now when we read Daniel 12, and we just had Hurricane Michael. Uh, here on chapter 12 here. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time uh, thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Uh, and they that uh, be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end, uh, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. And that's where we're at right now. The book of Daniel, in general, was to be sealed until the time of the end. And now we're in the hour where that book is being revealed. And so uh, all of this is tied into the things that Minister Paul spoke of. Um, and so that concludes today's message. Uh, but the, the point is, uh, you know, keep watching for all of these events to occur because they haven't occurred yet. But in watching some of Minister Paul's videos where he would uh, be given a word of knowledge about something that was going to happen in the future. And then maybe 12 months later or two years later. The event that he was told about and did a video about would actually occur. So a lot of times when you're given a dream or a vision and you're told about something that's going to happen, it's always uh, in a space of time that's quite a bit ahead of the event. And uh, it don't happen like the next day after you're warned about something. But what I'm trying to say is, is that many times when he was told something, then told to do the video and put out a warning, and then he would put out the warning, and then maybe, like I said, 12 months later, the thing, that prophecy warning would be fulfilled. And then he would do an update video, and he would go back and show everyone the video that he had done 12 months before, and then he would show how that that had been fulfilled. So there were several prophecies and things given to him over the years that came to pass. And so he has a degree of accuracy about him. And um, this M87 Event Horizon is a big deal. It's not, it's, it's going to be something that, you know, it's an event, like he said, that's going to uh, shake the nations. It, it's going to be big. And if that's the window of heaven... And that window of heaven is being open, brothers and sisters, for us, you know, because he's getting ready to rapture the church out. And that's what that's really about. And then somehow that's going to be explained away. We talked about that in an earlier video. That will, uh, the rapture is going to be explained away. Maybe as aliens, uh, you know, that took the people. You know, and there could be some kind of an alien deception here that's, you know, the delusion that the Lord was talking about that'll fool people and usher in the Antichrist. So 
a lot is about ready to happen. We're, we're close to the time of the end. And so uh, keep looking up, keep watching, uh, because your redemption draws nigh. And uh, uh, God bless each and every one of you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I'll see you on the next upload.